Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you the first world bank glitch, but this is actually the stealth method. And I know I've already made quite a few videos on this glitch already, but this one is actually the stealth method, as a lot of people have been commenting that they still can't get the vault doors open, and this will show you how if you want to do it stealthily. So the reason why people were getting this wrong is because they weren't going loud, they were going stealthily and jumping straight into the vault. So you can't actually use the old method if you want to go stealthily, but if you want to go loud, then you can use the old method just as fine. So you can see here now I'm going stealthily, and you want to come to this room here and you want to jump into the bookshelf there. You just want to sprint, jump and crouch and then spam jump and crouch when you hit the bookshelf. It isn't patched on anything, it works on all consoles, even PC. You just have to keep trying. It's just a lot harder on PC. And it's just, yeah, it's just quite easy on console. So you just want to kind of jump at the bookshelf and spam, crouch and jump. And then once you get it a few, first few times, you'll probably get it quite easily. And you want to drop down onto the road and you want to run this way. So usually from here you would just jump into the vault as I've shown you before, but if you're going stealthily you can't do this. And if you want to go stealthily then basically as soon as you come out of the vault, well the police won't be waiting for you because obviously they don't know you're actually in the map. So usually you would just jump into the vault from here, you would just jump and fall down. But if you do actually end up in the vault whilst doing it stealthily, the vault doors won't open because the game obviously thinks you're doing it stealthily and you shouldn't be in the vault before opening the vault doors. So what you actually have to do is you have to make it into that part of the map and glitch into that part so you can open the vault doors and get in the vault that way. Also the overdrill vault is there just for anyone wondering. I do not currently know a method to get into it, but if you can find one then you can use that as well. So what you actually want to do is you want to run and jump and land on that like ladder bit there it's quite hard you have to like run sprint and crouch jump onto it you have to land on it you can't fall down you have to land actually on that so it might take a few tries and you might fall but don't worry you will just spawn um, in the actual escape bit and you'll be able to retrace your steps and run up those steps and you'll be able to come out on the other side of that wall literally and you'll be able to see all this and you might you might be able to jump down and also if you go that way and you retrace your steps you'll come back into a room and there's like a few toilets I know you can actually fall out of the map and land in that as well. So if you don't make that, don't worry, you can probably find your way back. So you're going to want to aim for that because this bit sticks out a little bit more than that pipe there. So just like that, and you will land on the sled a bit and jump onto this pipe here. And just keep running along, actually not this way. Just like that. And you will end up here. Now you just want to drop down just like that and you are now under the map so anywhere you fall here because this obviously is a barrier here um, you will just land back in this part of the map so it doesn't really matter if you fall now the only bad part about this is if you get it wrong you might fall down a few barriers and land at another one and you might go down you might have reached the highest which has happened to me quite a lot but as long as you just follow those steps there you will land here and you will be fine so as long as you just keep walking straight in a straight line like this towards this building here you will come across the actual edge of this barrier and you will eventually fall like that and just drag towards the map and you should land here just make sure you don't drag towards the vault because you might just make your way into the vault by accident and that way you have to restart again so with this heist on stealth you actually need to find the key card so there's usually one here there might be one in that room over there there might be one in the room over there and you just want to insert it here now you have to find another key card to open the vault doors. You might want to take out the guards and make sure you answer the pages, otherwise the alarm will ring. And just remember that you can't actually put the key card in without interacting with this, so you, it, may, it may take a few tries because you've got to find one first. And also there can be one just here. So once you found the key card, you have to come back to this pit and you have to interact with it just so you can actually put the key card into the vault. Make sure you don't get spotted by any guards. And if you use the key card, the vault doors will open from the outside. So I've just been detected right there. Let's just try and there we go. <laughs> I actually didn't bring suppressor, so just make sure you have a suppressor on any gun, doesn't matter. So that way you can take out the guards if you have to, just like that. Make sure you answer the pager and beg the corpse because the other guard might see. Just like that. The guards won't actually react to the vault, the vault being open, so don't worry about that either. And now you don't have the worry of dozers spawning here, and plus the police don't even know you're here, so you have a free map to yourself basically now. So you're free to take the money, and get all the money in the bags, and escape as you normally would. So this is for all the people who've been commenting saying it still doesn't work, and the reason is because you've done it stealthily. You can do it loud, or you can do it use this method, but you can't use the other method and do it stealthily, because obviously the vault doors will not be open. And you'll basically just be waiting here forever. 
So this one is a lot better than the other one as there are no cops waiting for you as soon as the vault doors open and especially if you're on a high difficulty now you've basically just got an, a free run to the escape vehicle whereas if you're doing it loud you have to go through quite a few cops that are already waiting for you because obviously you've gone, you've gone loud. So this way it's a lot easier to get a lot more money and a lot more XP because obviously you can play a higher difficulty without the worry of cops. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just get the money, escape as usual. And this works in any difficulty, any console at the moment, even PC. And yeah, if you like the video, leave a like, comment if you enjoyed, if you want to pay these two glitches. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And peace.